from the wonderful Barbara Kingsolver, who's written lots and lots of novels, the most famous of which, of course, is the Poisonwood Bible. This is her latest one, The Lacuna. One, one review I read in an American newspaper said that um, the reviewer said she'd always described the Poisonwood Bible as Barbara Kingsolver's masterpiece, but she was wrong because this is it, The Lacuna. It's a very big read, it's a very dense read, it's political in the same way that, that the Poisonwood Bible was. The first hundred pages or so are quite slow in some ways. You get excerpts from the journal of Harrison Shepard, and to some extent they're a bit disjointed. But to anyone who hasn't read it yet, do persevere with it. After the first hundred or so pages, I was so hooked in, there was no way I could put it down. This young man ends up working in the kitchen as a cook in the household of Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera at the time when Trotsky and his wife were in exile from Russia, living in the uh, Frida Kahlo household in Mexico. Absolutely fascinating. This household is recreated vividly. And uh, Frida is a marvellous character who maintains a friendship with um, Harrison Shepard, the young man who's the, the central character in the novel. Even after he's gone back to America, they, they write letters to each other and remain firm friends. So that historical stuff is really, really fascinating. All the Frida Kahlo and Trotsky and the, their relationship, absolutely fascinating. Later, when Harrison is back in living in the States, he becomes a writer of, of moderately successful novels, not great works of literature, but enough for him to get a bit of a reputation as a writer, which he doesn't really want. He would like to just earn his living and, and remain anonymous. He's, he's quite shy. He has no wish to be famous. He has a wonderful woman working for him. You very gradually realise that he's gay. He has a wonderful woman working for him who is like his secretary, and a very, a very warm, caring friendship builds up between them. But because he is gay and because he has lived in Frida Kahlo's household when Trotsky was there, McCarthyism descends on him. He becomes a suspect and he starts to be questioned by the Committee of Un-American Affairs. And it's extraordinary what happens. I mean, what Barbara Kingsolver is doing is analysing and damning American politics and also the American media. Just, just to give you an example, there's a line that one of the characters in one of Harrison's novels, a character speaks a line and the committee say to him, are these your words? And he says, yes, but I didn't speak them, a character in my novel spoke them, but are these your words? And he's going to get damned on one sentence that one of his characters speaks in one of his novels. Absolutely fascinating about the media and about politics and about how, in the end, Harrison escapes from the, the persecution of McCarthyism. Brilliantly written, totally absorbing, highly political. Anyone who's interested in, in politics will find it fascinating, but the sheer story of it is, is totally involving as a novel. Highly recommended.